Welcome back to the Commercial Real Estate Show. I'm Michael Bull. Today we're talking about health care and health care real estate. Please welcome Karen Jones to the show. She's with um, MedBuild, which is a division of ModSpace. And we're going to talk about modular construction uh, and some of the benefits there. Welcome to the show. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for inviting us. And talk to us about modular construction and, and some of the benefits over you know, typical stick construction. Probably the number one benefit of modular construction is the time savings. A uh, modular building can be built in 40 to 50 percent less time than a conventional construction building um, can be constructed, which means the return on investment comes back a whole lot faster to the end user. Right, and that's real important for uh, medical uh, users, right, because time is money. And so tell us where that, that time is saved. So well, maybe while you're doing the site work, uh, you're, you're building uh, the modular construction in a controlled environment? In stick construction, uh, you have the design phase, the concept phase, then you have the design phase, then you go into the site construction, and it, the same, a same process takes place in modular construction as far as that, pa that, um, that pace is. Then all of a sudden, when they're when in modular construction, when the site is being developed, we're going ahead and we're building the building in a controlled environment. So the savings comes in when the site work is done, the building is is delivered to the site, and then the building is installed. That's where we save the time. All of the components that can be attached in the building, all your mechanical systems are already in the building when the building arrives. So you could build a physician's office, put it all together, open the door, and you've got an exam room ready to go. Put a table in there, you're ready to go. Okay, so you're bringing these to the site and then putting them together like Legos, right? It, it pretty much, it's just, <laughs> yeah, pretty much like Legos. Okay, and you also work with some of the vendors for some of the medical equipment and, and put that in, uh, in a controlled environment as well? Yes, yes. So we work with, the, for instance, um, you know, General Electric, Siemens, Hitachi, Philips, um, Toshiba, and we also work with Henry Schein, who is a distributor of medical equipment and supplies. They can all of their cabinets, all of the equipment can be installed in the plant. All your mechanical systems are developed in the plant according to the type of end use that's going to be needed. Uh, so all of that arrives on site. We usually take the utilities to five feet and then the general contractor can take over from that point in time. Okay, and what types of buildings are you seeing being built with modular construction in the medical world today? We, right now we're seeing a real increase in urgent care uh, clinics, freestanding emergency departments as the physicians groups are going out to the population mm -hmm. and they're getting closer to the population. We also do MR, MR suites. We can do permanent buildings, we can do temporary buildings, they can be a standalone or they can be in addition to an existing building. Uh, about the only thing we can't do is the renovations or the build outs due to the nature of, of the modular construction itself. Okay, and some of these buildings are as large as big hospitals, right? Yes, yes. And, uh, Joplin was a, a perfect example of mm -hmm. a disaster that took place and a whole hospital was built. And what about cost uh, for modular versus stick construction? In the high-end buildings, you usually find that modular construction can be the same cost as stick construction. We use the same materials, and even though an economy of scale can be brought about in the factory, sometimes transportation takes that away because we do have to transport the modules to the site. But when you're getting into the building and occupying it 50% faster, your return on investment comes in because you're seeing patients and you're developing that patient base much quicker. Okay, well that makes sense. That's where your big savings uh, is located. What about the quality of the end product? I think some people may think modular. Are we talking about mobile homes here? Yeah, what about the end quality? The end quality is is just as good, if not better, than um, stick construction. It's built in a controlled environment. There's is, your uh, materials are not exposed to the weather. You have um, tradesmen that do the same work every single day when they're working on these buildings. And these buildings, each module has to stand on its own. 
So each module has the strength of the whole entire building. So some, your quality can be a whole lot better. And no, it doesn't look like a trailer when it's done. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're watching some video, you're, you're seeing some of these buildings. If you're, if you're listening on the radio or, or, or other ways, uh, just the audio, we'll have some of these links on the show webpage. So uh, check it out. What about the trends for the volume of modular construction in medical space? Uh, McGraw-Hill, which is now called, called Dodge Data and Analysis, um, has estimated 49% of the new construction is modular. That can be a total building or it can be the pods. Oftentimes you find in a hospital type situation, a general contractor will go in and build like hospital room pods with the head walls in them. So they build a shell and then they just add the pods into there. So that accounts for part of that 49%. Okay. So they work. this works for just total new construction or to add on to an existing building? Yes, yes, and it can be, it can be temporary also. Um, one of your previous um, speakers was talking mm -hmm. about uh, build-outs, and a lot of times when a hospital is doing a renovation, they have to move a department so we can ha take and put them in a modular building while they're doing that renovation, so it can be for temporary space also. Okay, and great, and you guys have um, a website that explains and kind of shows people uh, what this is like, right, so they can get more information about it. We, yeah. do, we do. And it's www.medbuild.com and then slash construction and then slash healthcare. So I urge you to go there and check this out because if you could save 50% of the construction time, you're saving a lot of money. And these buildings look just like a stick bit building when they're finished, right? They look just the same? Yes, they have a 40 year lifespan. They look is, they look just like a regular building, and, yes. And lenders like them. Uh, Len like lenders them. like them too. All right, well, stay tuned. We'll have more on healthcare and healthcare real estate. I'm Michael Bull. This is the Commercial Real Estate Show. We'll be right back, and we're going to talk about investment property sales. The Commercial Real Estate Show is brought to you by Bull Realty, a great place to do business. Realnex, software for productivity. Excelligent, information for the professionals. And Commercial Search, properties for sale and lease. To access these companies or for additional videos, podcasts, and articles, visit CREshow.com.